Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and this is a video on my attempt at making bromine. Um, I really didn't get that much bromine in the end, maybe around uh, 3 or 4 grams or so. Um, so I'm mainly going to focus on the reaction that I do at the end. But the approach that I did here was to mix sodium bromide and uh, hydrochloric acid to make hydrobromic acid, and then I add an oxidant to that which I used hydrogen peroxide, which will give the bromine that is still in the hydrobromic acid the electron that it wants, and it will leave the hydrobromic acid, and then it can be recondensed by a condenser in a distillation setup. Um, this didn't work very efficiently, and like I said, I didn't get the kind of yield I was looking for, so we'll mainly focus on the reaction. I'll just show some clips of the distillation. I put some aluminum foil around this so that it would keep some heat in more. You can see a little bit of the bromine vapor starting to come up. Here's some of the first drops beginning to condense. So after about two hours of distillation, this is what I got. I was pretty disappointed, but bromine's really hard to make, so I shouldn't have expected too much out of myself. I made the audio for the reaction when I was actually recording it, so I don't have to voice it over. Okay, so I just made up a little bit of bromine here, and now we're going to pour it onto this aluminum. And I dried it out with a little bit of sulfuric acid, so the sulfuric acid might react a little bit with it too. There we go. And all aluminum has an aluminum oxide layer on it, so actually that sulfuric acid might help to get that aluminum oxide layer off. Okay, so I'll stopper that off. And this takes a little while. So we're just going, oh, I guess it didn't take very long. And we're going to hold our breath. It should actually go away a little bit. The sparks are actually molten aluminum, and it's forming aluminum tribromide. We should freeze it. I guess I can cut. Thanks for watching. And it's not your. Yeah. That's a good way to use up any bromine you have. So here's a clip of me pouring a one molar solution of sodium thiosulfate in water into the flask that still has bromine in it. And I just shake it around and then the bromine disappears. And here's where I'm going to say that my disclaimer. This needs to be done in a fume hood or outside if you decide to try this. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, maybe you can get a better yield than me. Um, but I would recommend maybe a different way if you can find one. Um, so dispose of your bromine safely. Either store it in a lab freezer that can freeze the bromine to a solid. Or seal it in an ampule for permanent storage. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.